the tubes. A totally awesome year that gave us these burning questions. Who wasn't knocking boots on Melrose Place? Kiss me. I know Michael and Peter didn't. Other than that, no. I think everybody else, you know, everybody else hit it. What did Mama Gump really tell Forrest? My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Life is like a bunch of chocolates. And I will eat every chocolate in that box. And is there any way the Jews didn't do it? Does it really matter? He's so cool. Who cares? The answers to those questions plus a face full of tesh. And ice skating just got a hell of a lot more interesting. Why? 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 Because you love the 90s. Because you still listen to boys to men when you're getting busy. Admit it. This is 1994. What's up? You have selected. I love Game's about to begin, Amanda. You ready to play? I love Melrose Place. It was like everything that could be screwed up in the entire world was put into this one show. You've got all these people living in their apartments, and they're all very, very hot. And then you throw in a little hair pulling from the ladies and stuff, and you got yourself a show. You are trash, Sydney, with the rap sheet to prove it. <laughs> the thing about that show, is that it started out as just a group of people, a group of friends, who did everyday average things. Well, I guess, you know, the ratings weren't that good, and it just got nuts. Favorite Melrose moment? God, there's so many. I just, uh... All I know is it was a pool in the middle of this joint, and everyone banged each other. Well, I'll try to remember everybody I've been with on Melrose Place. I slept with. Slept with or married? I was married seven times. Slept with... Okay, so slept with is out of the question. Characters that didn't sleep together on Melrose. I know Michael and Peter didn't. Other than that, no. I think everybody else, you know, everybody else did it. This is a lot of single people uh, sleeping around in Melrose and having problems. And then they brought in Heather Locklear, and the problems got even worse. Allison, I'm going to do you the way you did me. And when I'm done, all you'll be left with is that proverbial wish that you'd never been born. I don't know if Courtney Thorne Smith's character got a lot of action. I know she wanted to hook up with Billy, Andrew Shu. I don't know if she ever got to, though. He was off probably playing soccer. Jake Hansen, you've been a great friend of mine the last couple of years, and I, I want you to be my best man. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I think there were a couple guys on Melrose Place that misused their penises. I think I shot one of them. I loved uh, Michael Mancini, how ruthless he was. <laughs> you come here, love me. You make up your damn mind. Kimberly was just infamous for trying to kill people. I don't. She she skipped the cat fight. She was like, screw the cat fight. I'm going straight to just killing your ass. I mean, I think everybody who watched Melrose Place, the strongest image that stays in your mind is when she took Kimberly took off her wig. She took off her wig. Oh my God, that's right. She had a big scar on her head. That I remember. It was like from Planet of the Apes or something. She go, and then you'd know like that. Oh, she's. She's got weird brain things going on. Look at her scar. I like that a lot. That was crazy television. News break. This afternoon, skater Nancy Kerrigan just finished a practice stint in Detroit's Cobo Hall. Witnesses say she was walking off the ice when an unidentified man hit her leg with a metal bar. Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding. Oh, my God, what a fantastic story to see unfold. This is the ultimate bitch fight. This is a lifetime movie you couldn't have written. What happened, basically, was they were at, a, like, a practice ring, you know, getting ready for the Olympics, and Nancy Kerrigan was, like, leaving, and some thug comes up to her, whacks her in the knee. Whoa. 
you're such a good skater that's why and then of course you found out it was you know tanya harding's goons well tanya harding's ex-husband jeff galuli is apparently cooperating with authorities in the investigation of the attack on nancy kerrigan i remember one name out of that entire controversy galuli jeff galuli i love that name honey jeff Go cripple Nancy for me. Be a dear. I'll let you videotape us having sex, please. What a great night. It's what little girls dream about as they grow up, is getting married to a guy named Galuli and having him tape their sex capades on their wedding night and having it published. Neither of the parties was, let's say, attractive to me. The lighting was bad. The acting was awful. Well, although Jeff did have that stash, Jeff had a mustache on him that I would like to lick till the end of time. Mmm. I know I have let you down, but I have also let myself down. I thought I was supposed to really like Nancy, and I went, you know what? I'm not sure I really like her that much either. She didn't win the gold, and Tanya didn't win the gold. It was some chick named Osama or something. Oksana Bayul won the gold, and she was a zillion times better ice skater than either of those two slugs. It's a conspiracy. Tanya never did it. It was a summer by you. My favorite Scott Hamilton, if we want to have a favorite ice dancer. Scott doesn't get into that kind of trouble, you know? This is why women should not be allowed to compete in sports. Loser. is one of my favorite movies of all time. I saw it when it came out in the theaters, and I own it now, and I watch it all the time because it's just, it's so good. Reality Bites, dude. Yeah. Finally, a movie for our generation. All-star cast. Ethan Hawke. Hello, you've reached the winter of our discontent. Jen and Gurflau. Evian is naive spelled back. Steve Zane. I am, oh, almost sexual. And Ben Smiler. What is your glitch? Laney, who is Winona Ryder, dates Michael, and Troy gets all jealous because he really loves her, and blah, blah, blah. You don't know what she needs. I think I know what she needs in a way that you never will. What is Winona going to do? Is she going to go with the scruffy poet or the slick corporate guy? Ethan or Ben? Jew or Gentile? There's yet to be. A better looking man than Ethan Hawke. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Ben Stiller competed with Ethan Hawke for a woman. What was he thinking? I am really in love with you. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? Is it? Well, don't flatter yourself. Ethan Hawke was kind of a <laughs> in that movie. And Ben Stiller, what, he should be punished because he wants to have a career? I want to have a career. I want to have Ben Stiller's career. Look at me, I'm talking to you, ass. I should be punished for that. I am being punished every single day in my life. Hey, I saw you in the 90s. You suck. I'm Ben Stiller in that scenario. I wish I could be Ethan Hawke. I'm just gonna write my poetry. I don't have any poetry. I'm on VH1. I don't remember the movie Reality Bites, but I remember that video. And it was Lisa Loeb doing Stay. And it just, it stings an image in so many guys' brains. You say. So many guys I knew watched that video and were just like, oh, God, I know that girl. And I broke up with her immediately. And here she is, back on video to haunt us. She was a little cutie pie. God bless her. Lisa Loeb made those, like, cat eye glasses, like, cool and awesome. Talk so all the time. So. I actually do remember a few girls suddenly wearing the granny glasses after that. And it, they were the frumpy little girls going, you know, tell me how you feel. Granny glasses are sexy. Not on a granny. If it's a cute girl wearing glasses, like a, a little Lisa Loby, then I want to make an adorable baby that just pops out of her with a vision problem. I missed you. I love 94. Coming up, George makes the transformation from boxing to barbecuing. 
Aha, beautiful lines. That's what make a hamburger. Plus, salt and pepper spice things up. That song about sex things deep. Now, I personally love talking about sex, so when that song came out, I was like, listen, sisters, you don't have to tell me twice. And the truth about Tesh. It's just to signal aliens, John Tesh's music, isn't it? There's a rumor <laughs> on the Internet that's going around. Yes. I think you've heard this. Yes, I'm sure I have. That you are an alien. An alien, yeah. Next on I Love the 90s, 1994. But first, modern humorous, uncut and uncensored, on stay. You know, you say, I only feel what I want to. I don't listen hard, don't pay attention to the distance that you're running, to anywhere or anything. I, I don't understand how you really care. I'm only hearing negative. No, 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 back. So I, I turn the radio on, I turn the radio up, and it's singing my song, Lover's in Love, because the lover ran away, and lover's crying because the other won't stay. You know? I miss you, John. And you say, stay. If your check card's lost or stolen, did you know you're not liable for fraudulent purchases? Got it. And even if they spent a fortune, you'll get every single cent of that money back? Guess not. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. And I thought he was doing so well. Hey, now that they've made Tic Tac 30% bigger, does that mean you can enjoy them 30% longer? You'll have to try this yourself. I'm out of time. The new Bigger Little Tic Tac, now with even more enjoyable freshness. Something has brought Jason Bourne out of Heidi. You're going to play ball one way or the other. Where's he headed? We got something. We need snipers, DOD, whatever nope. they got. I don't care what you have to do. Get Bourne. Where is he? Right next to you. The Bourne Supremacy. Rated PG-13. Starts July 23rd. Receive a free movie ticket to Bourne Supremacy when you buy the Bourne Identity extended DVD with a never-before-seen beginning. Buy the DVD now. Now that Barb and I are both regular, we're free. Have you been injured in an accident? Dinner in a box. Depression and hair loss are not uncommon. I'm... I take Zekra and it's batter up. Just three minutes a day. Three minutes a day. You two could have abs like Mindy. All it takes. Hear 100% commercial-free music on the most listened-to satellite radio service, Beyond AM, Beyond FM, XM Satellite Radio. So that's the offer on this Saturn Ion. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So what's the offer when we factor in the catch? Oh, no, sir, there is no catch. What's the catch? No, I'm, ser I'm serious, there is no but catch. Just tell me what the catch is. Sir, there's no catch. Wait, I'm sorry, re refresh, what were we talking about? Oh, that's right, the catch. Relax, you're at Saturn, Summer Drive. Get 0% APR financing or 3000 toward your down payment on select Ion models. See your retailer for details. This summer, rent as many games as you want. Flip it. For as long as you want, then flip them. Flip it. With the new Blockbuster Flip Card. 49 bucks is all you pay for three months of unlimited gaming. So get to Blockbuster now and flip it. We are the champions, my friends.
people everywhere are experiencing a breakthrough. I haven't been this full since. Fullness from a value menu. Little announcement. We're full. <laughs> Introducing the Big Bell value menu from Taco Bell. A new menu of filling items like half pound burritos and double tacos. Designed to keep your stomach and your wallet full. I'm full, but you wouldn't understand that. Oh. <laughs> Get full on value. Think outside the bun. Dance songs of 94. Break it down. 1994. Hammer time here with your ultra bumping, grinding, slamming, jamming, mega grooving, power dance hits. A night of flow. Break it down. One hundred percent pure love by Crystal Waters. Two zero by the sixty nine boys. And finally, Dip Check the Fantasia. Cantaloupe by Us Three, US Three, You and Me. You can't touch this. The dance hits of ninety four. All right. John Tesh leads the way in a worldly celebration of music and dance. When I first heard that the anchor of Entertainment Tonight was also a musician, I remember thinking, wow, he's a renaissance man. John Tesh decided to leave the E.T. to uh, pursue his career in La Musica. I don't know if you folks know it, but each and every one of you are at this moment sitting right smack dab in the middle of my biggest dream, being here doing this. John Tesh does what he calls new age music, which we used to call elevator music back in the day. New age music is kind of the music that you that, that's that's playing when you go to a salon to get your legs waxed. It's just to signal aliens, John Tesh's music, isn't it? There's a rumor on the internet that's going around, yes. and I think you've heard this. Yes, I'm sure I have. That you are an alien. An alien, yeah. The Intertesh Action Society, ATAS, uh, was founded to prove that John Tesh was action alien. <laughs> I think it was all a Mary Hart hatch plot because I think that she was from an enemy planet. I think people did eat it up like hotcakes. John Tesh could fill up the Acropolis and Red Rocks. Just stand up where you are, grab your partner, and slow dance. Do it. What people don't know about John Tesh is they love the music, but the memorable titles of his songs are often overlooked. I'm gonna party your f Smack me like the bitch that I am. You my chicken hawk tonight. Eat it, homie, is one of his more memorable tunes. Thank you, John Tesh. That's what the world needs. I love 94. I remember Speed. This is the movie that asks us to believe that a bus can fly. I believe. Ninety-four breakout year for Keanu. If I'm not mistaken, he plays again a cop of sorts. I'm Jack Trapp in LAPD. Trapped on a speeding bus. And the speeding bus cannot go below 55 miles an hour, or a bomb will explode. If I'm on the bus and a dude like Keanu Reeves gets on there and is trying to warn me, I couldn't believe him because that voice. Yo, there's a bomb on the bus. There is a bomb on this bus. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, dude, sit your surfer ass down. I just thought Sandra Bullock was amazing. Loved the movie, but I thought, you know, that's a great actress. Like, she really had this motion down. She really knew how to do this. Who would have thought doing something like this would impact my life so much? But it has. This was a period of time when people were really excited about public transportation, when city buses had finally come into their own and were very sexy. 
So finally, the, they all jump off of the bus. They escape. Okay. They fly out, and the bus explodes. And then Keanu Reeves and Thunder Bullock roll, you know, choreographed perfectly onto the ground. And you know it's true love at that moment. It's a very beautiful scene that I loved. Sadly. News break. In Los Angeles, the investigation continues this morning into the murder of the ex-wife and football hall of famer O.J. Simpson. This is the movie in which O.J. stars, and he gets into a Ford Bronco, but instead of he can't go under 55, he can't go over 35 miles an hour, or something terrible is going to happen, like a double murder. LJ's Bronco Chase was the moon landing of the 90s. That was that one bit of television that everyone saw. Even if you didn't have a television, you saw it. When I first saw the white Bronco Chase, I thought, O.J. likes everything white. When I first saw O.J. in a Bronco, somebody was like, yo, O.J. is in his truck and it's like mad cops. Turn on the TV, turn on the TV. And I remember being like in the house with a bunch of my friends and they was like, go, go, O.J. When I saw the Bronco chase, I was wondering who was driving it. I saw the picture, it was of AC Cowling, and I'm wondering what in the world. And everybody was like, he's got a gun, he's gonna commit suicide. And it was like, ooh, better uh, get a tighter lens. I guess there was a mask in the car and a fake mustache, and I was just thinking, boy, that doesn't look good. Is he trying to just get away? Well, a guy with a fake beard and a bag of cash and a gun running away from the cops doesn't really display characteristics of being innocent. The police coming straight from the underground. If I think he was guilty, I'm gonna go out on the limb here. I think he definitely had something to do with it. Does it really matter? He's so cool. Who cares? Of course, you know, everyone's waiting for the big shootout and then for OJ to run and jump over stuff and tackle people. It would have been funny if he was actually, he'd gotten to the airport and he was actually running through the airport kind of in a mock, ironic version of those old commercials he used to do. And it just sort of ended with a fizzle, you know, it just got to his driveway and he got out and we were, we were bummed out about it. I love 94. Coming up, the perfect marriage of cognitive impairment and cross country running. He's going the distance. One forest moon. And Big George wins one for the early bird special set. Age don't matter. Skills is skills. If you got skills, you got skills. I whoop on dudes half my age all the time. Next on I Love the 90s, 1994. But first. Dirty Alternative Rocker of 94. Liz Fair here bringing you the Dirty Alternative Rockers of 1994. We've got Beck, Cut it. the Dirty Loser Rocker. Chris Cornell, the Dirty Black Hole Sun Rocker. And Trent Reznor, the Dirty Scary Rocker. Those are the run guys of 1994. Lock your doors, ladies. I Love the 90s continues tonight at 9, 8 central with 1996. And everybody was doing La Macarena. Followed by 1997 at 10. If you're going to be my lover, you have to get with my friends. Wait a minute. No, no, that's not how it works. And stick around for A to Z, VH1's new obsessive compulsive celebrity guy. Tonight, A to Z, B e to D, premieres at 11. A is for Amish. Diddy lived with the Amish when he was a boy. It's all part of the Big Kahuna Summer on VH1. Come on, you know you wanna. Papa John's lets you choose your favorite music. Buy our new 4 to go pack, four 20-ounce bottles of your favorite Coke products, and get four downloads free. Critics called The Lovely one of the best films of the year. Oscar-winning performances from Kevin Kline and Ashley Judd. The song's about being in love. Two thumbs up. Roger Ebert raves. I love this movie. The Lovely. Rated PG-13. Now in select cities. We're here live where Big Donald Faison is wrestling with a very tough opponent. Faison's really struggling today, Rich. Well, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, right? You gotta give credit to the pickle jar. It's putting up one heck of a fight. Yeah, that's some vacuum it's packing, huh? Wait! Faison's loosened its grip. He's done it! Folks, this moment deserves a Pepsi Edge. Reward yourself with new Pepsi Edge. It has full-on flavor, but 50% less sugar and carbs. So feel free to celebrate any little achievement. Tell you what, that would have been an embarrassing loss for Faison. 
Who brings you the most power-packed summer vacation? Universal Orlando Resort and Radio Shack. And now your family can register to win one of 35 action-packed Universal Power Trips for four at Radio Shack. Now let Radio Shack help you stay connected to friends and family with this Samsung A650 color screen flip phone from Verizon Wireless on sale for $19.99 with two-year agreement. With a deal like this, you can get one for every member of your family. Visit UniversalPowerTrip.com or register at Radio Shack. seamless integration of iPod and automobile. The motion picture event of this summer is also the best reviewed film of the year. Play everywhere. Hey, now that they've made Tic Tac 30% bigger, does that mean you can enjoy them 30% longer? You'll have to try this yourself. I'm out of time. The new bigger little Tic Tac, now with even more enjoyable freshness. So, a little winner take all for the last slice of pizza. You want it? You gotta get to me. To the winner goes the big lady! <laughs> 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 At Peter Piper Pizza, you'll love the food as much as they love the fun. Peter Piper Pizza has gone totally tokens. Just buy two large pizzas and we'll toss in 20 tokens. Totally free. Which means you should totally hurry in today. Music Choice presents legendary R&B artist Maze featuring Frankie Beverly. See Maze along with the legendary producer and songwriter Frankie Beverly as they perform your favorite songs from their new Greatest Hits album. Don't miss this unique opportunity to catch Philadelphia superstars, Maze and Frankie Beverly. I love the 90s. Coming up next, only on VH1. It's all that in a bag of chips. Wendy, the Snapple lady, answers viewer mail. <laughs> Hello from Snapple. Anonymous from Boise, Idaho writes, I have been using one of the original Wonder Bras since their invention in 1994. For years, it has dutifully and wonderfully lifted and separated. There's only one problem. I'm a man. Do you think there's anything wrong with me? Well, Anonymous, it is a free country, and if you want to wear a Wonder Bra, that is your business. How's that? Good question, Anonymous, and thanks so much for writing Wendy the Snapple Lady. <laughs> NYPD Blue, best cop drama ever. I liked the NYPD Blue. I liked the rough language. If I got this Brigham, my fist looks like your face. I liked the gritty realism. You want some dessert, huh? It's clear up, but I have a doc for dessert. I liked the naked behinds. I should have just been called NYPD ass. Baby got back. I'm not sure who's clamoring to see Dennis Franz's ass. But I guess they did focus groups and people wanted to see it, so uh, Stephen Bochco served it up. Uh, no, 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 no. They could just keep their ass in their little police pants, and I'll be happy. I adored David Caruso. He talked really low, and like he had to like listen really carefully to figure out what he was saying. If I have to lock the doors and pull the shades down in here to get what I want from you, I will. David Caruso is not going to take any shit from you, mister. If he wants the truth, and he wants it, no. I thought I was going to be 65 when I left this job. David Caruso caught a lot of crap for leaving, um, only to reemerge back down in Miami. He's working down there with the CSI people. He's fine now. Shed no tears for David now. But if you want to see me in my network television debut, Check out the last episode of the first season of NYPD Blue, in which I make my debut as a Puerto Rican street hustler. What's your name? Joel. You know there was a murder in a park last night?
Hey, Joey Diaz. Did you see this this guy? No, man. I don't know where he went. You don't know? I don't know, man. Just to talk to him. He talked to a lot of the kids. Was he a trick? I wouldn't say. He was down here a lot. If you're wondering why I've never risen above the C-list, take a look at Joey Diaz in NYPD Blue. You know that, right? Yeah, okay. Okay? Okay. I'm very, very good. Vid Pig. This is the song based on the uh, Campbell Soup slogan that goes, mm, mm, good. Only instead of mm, mm, good, it was, it was, mm, mm, mm. First of all, crash test dummies from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, as well as Chris Jericho from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Represent Winnipeg. Those are the only words I can remember. The lead singer of Crash Test Dummies sounded like Lurch looked. Sort of like the Canadian Barry White, meaning without soul. The fact that my voice is so low is attributable to my third testicle. Brad Roberts kind of had like the bad long hair, worse than mine. They saw birthmarks all over her body. She didn't quite. There's a bunch of bad things that happen to like a bunch of kids. And yet it was like the biggest hit of the time. Like, there's the one part where the kid dies? It's fantastic. Terrible things were happening to this boy all the time. What's left to say except. Mm, mm, mm. It's a little sassy when you think about it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Fact. Don't stop the power! It happened! It happened! That was exciting when George Foreman beat uh, Michael Moore for the title. I mean, who would have thought? So you got a 45 year old heavyweight champion of the world. Age don't matter. Skills is skills. If you got skills, you got skills. I whoop on dudes half my age all the time. And then a hero. Mike Tyson reportedly said if he got out of jail on Tuesday, he could beat you on Wednesday. Uh-huh, and that would be great. I'd love to fight him on Wednesday. <laughs> you gotta understand, George, when he was young, the dude was like ornery. He was mean. He's like, like a teddy bear now. And the next thing you know, dude's a multimillionaire because he got this grill. This machine was designed with George Foreman and the American people in mind. Oh, the grill now. Come on now. The grill's a classic. You got to have the George Foreman grill. It knocks out the fat. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. It's fun time. They drain out all the fat and you'll look like George Foreman, a big, bald, black man. I bought a George Foreman grill, all right? I seen Big George. I said, okay. A big-ass, fat, black dude cooking on TV, and he likes the food. It's got to be good, you know what I'm saying? Aha, beautiful lines. That's what make a hamburger. I had the Mike Tyson hibachi, which is probably the wrong choice. Don't call it a comeback! It's a roller coaster ride of a career, isn't it? How do you go from boxer to grill spokesman? I've had a wonderful boxing career, but I'm a salesman at heart. I love 94. Boys and Man was one of those groups, they're all from Philly. They were just average looking brothers, but they could sing. You think if you get four guys who can harmonize like that and make such memorable, lovely songs, that one of them would be attractive. I remember it looked like one dude was was shawl stretched like um somebody chewed him up like bubble gum. You know how you just take bubble gum and shape it into something when you was a kid? That was that kid. Then you had the one with the fat jaw. He didn't have a big bottom lip, but it was like a swollen chin air, like it was a weird face, you know what I mean? Then you had the deep voice guy. Hey baby, I'm sorry. You know I love you, girl. Then you had Wanye, the the little crying one, and Wanya. Whatever his name is, Wayne, yeah, the, the little front man. They always had their little um, kind of school clothes that they would wear, like with the little sweaters and the, the bow tie. Are you quadruplets? Why are you all dressed the same? Their wardrobe matched what song 
they were singing for their videos. On some of their more romantic, elegant songs, they, they kind of dressed it. Boys to Men, for some reason, was like everyone's wedding song during the 90s. And I was like, don't y'all know some church songs up in here? Why are you singing I'll Make Love to You at Church? That's a mess. Baby, all through the night, I'll make love to you. That was it. And Nobody writes a better prom song than Boys to Men. On behalf of my date and my corsage, thank you. The bomb. Tommy Hilfiger was definitely the waspy you know, white bread, oh, we're out in Connecticut for the weekend, you know, type of clothes. Tommy had this vision of crisp, chiseled wasps wearing wonderful East Coast chic khakis and shirts and da-da-da-da. Before you knew it, the brothers had gotten hold of it and it was all urban and fabulous and hip-hop. Tommy Hilfiger is basically a small white man who took waspy yachting clothes and, and sold them to young black men. I just want to say, you know, there's nothing more gangster than wearing the name of an old white dude on your on your shirt. Mob Deep said, Tommy Hill, he's my n He's so not ghetto. How, I don't understand how, how that worked, but apparently it did. When people started yachting on the Harlem River, Hilfiger got hot. I think it was the Harlem River Regatta that did it. I never got into the Tommy gear. They say, I know I'm rolling down Yeslow way right through the hood, and cats are wearing Tommy out there smoking weed. I'm like, where the hell did this come from? I don't know how that happened, man. Maybe it's a result of my love for the street. The rappers were referencing it in their songs, and Snoop would wear it on Saturday Night Live. When Snoop Dogg started wearing Tommy Hilfiger, it was a clear indication that Hilfiger was no longer for the preppy set, and that the world had gone crazy. Coming up, Tom Hanks figures out the key to automatic Oscar gold. It starts to send a bad message when um, anyone who plays a character who's at all mentally incapacitated is automatically at least nominated, if not given an Oscar. And Pulp Fiction pumps life back into Vinnie Barbarino's career. Go ahead, John Travolta. Next on I Love the 90s, 1994. But first, Hotties of 94. Hi, I'm Michael Bolton, here to deliver lovingly to you the hotties of 1994. Jennifer Love Hewitt, party of two hotties. Cameron Diaz, the smoking hottie. And Tiffany Amber Fisa, bad, bad 90210 hottie. Well The hotties of 1994. If you want to dispute their hotness, we might have a problem. Party people! You're watching I Love the 90s on VH1. I say this calls for action, and now, nip it in the bud. You gotta nip them things in the bud. I'm gonna get my bud nipper and go over there and nip some bud. There's one way to take care of it. Nip it in the bud. That bud is nipped. There's no place like TV land. Nip it. Discover a dermatologist's way to transform your skin at home. Introducing Refinish, the microdermabrasion kit from L'Oreal with the same crystals dermatologists use. Refinish retexturizes uneven surfaces. Reilluminates reveals more even skin tone. Rejuvenates fights aging effects like fine lines, then moisturizes with SPF 15. Just two steps, two minutes, two times a week. New Refinish Microdermabrasion Kit. Dermatological innovation from L'Oreal Paris. People everywhere are experiencing a breakthrough. I'm full! Fullness from a value menu. Guess who got full this weekend? You dog! <laughs> Introducing the Big Bell value menu from Taco Bell. A new menu of filling items, like half-pound burritos and double tacos, designed to keep your stomach and your wallet full. I'm full beyond my wildest dreams. And you can be too! Get full on value. Think outside the bun.
and counting. The 210 horsepower supercharged Nissan Xterra. <laughs> Discover new sensations. Introducing the revolutionary V Bladeless Razor Kit. <laughs> the special hair removal cream works with a bladeless razor tool to remove hair. There's no cuts or prickly stubble, and your skin feels smooth up to twice as long as shaving with a blade. If only every feeling Ouch. lasted as long. The Veep Bladeless Razor Kit, a feeling that lasts. How active are you? It's how active is your water. Made for bodies in motion. Propel fitness water. Flavored bright so you hydrate better. It's how Gatorade does water. Propel. Three, three, three. Because the more water you drink, the better you feel. So make your body happy. Drink more water. Just relax. Try to think of something simple like making a collect call. By dialing down the center with 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. It's free for you and cheap for them. Okay, my turn. Save on every call. Dial 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. The life she had was taken away. Now she's reborn. This person's very self-confident. To fight for what she believes. Catwoman. Rated PG-13. Starts July 23rd. Party people! Coming up next, I Love the 90s on VH1. Jay and Silent Bob rename your favorite TV show. Hello out there in TV land. It's the coolest cats on the planet, Jay and Silent Bob. And we're renaming your favorite TV show of 1994. Deal with it. Nine oh two one oh. True, true. You know, maybe one day you and I can live in a place like that, Silent Bob. You know, a dumb, slutty, sweet, hot, big booby chicks. Oh, oh I have a rager right now. <laughs> Right there, ass bag. See you in '95. Pulp Fiction is the best movie of the '90s, without a Absolutely. doubt. Absolutely, it's the most defining movie of the decade. You know what they call a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese. I mean, they get the metric system. They wouldn't know what the, f the quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it the uh, Royale with cheese. Well, you know, a lot of people give Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction the credit for bringing John Travolta back, and that is just unfair to Dianetics. Please, Quinn. She was a teenage queen in the oven. Da, 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 da. That was a hot scene, too, you know? It showed that John Travolta could still dance. Go ahead, John Travolta. And I like that John Travolta takes his shoes off and dances in his socks, which is my Uncle Barry used to do that a lot. Count to three. All right, ready? One. Oh, I have to say, the scene where they revived Uma Thurman was the most disturbing. Talk about Two. medicine woman. That was some crazy stuff. With the needle in her chest when she's all spazzing out from the drugs, and that was scary as hell. Get down, get down, get down. Yeah. Bang! Brings her back to life. And, I've, you know, it brought me right back to my childhood. That's why I loved it so much. <laughs> Quinn Tarantino is a sick <laughs> From one sick to another, if you're all right, and say something. Something. The stuff he brought in there really, I think, must have surprised the hell out of middle America. I think they're still scratching their heads about what exactly is a gimp. Bring out the gimp. Yeah. The gimp. Good God. Oh, the wee man with a leather hat. Oh. Pulp Fiction introduced me to the entire concept of the gag ball. I didn't know what a gag ball was before Pulp Fiction. Now I carry one with me. Because you never know 
when you might need a gag ball. When they brought out that gimp, I, I probably thought what every guy in that theater was thinking, which was, damn, I wish I was Ving Rhames right now. Sexy. You know, I've got a gimp. Much more common than people think it is. I think studies show like maybe like one in three people has a sexual deviant locked in a box in their basement in America. All right. Now, what's wrong with that? Slamming. Ace of Base was like this phenomenon in the 90s. And I'm still not sure why. <laughs> that band. Ace of Base really went for it. You know, they were, they were, they were scary. Oh my God. <sighs> All that you want is another baby. Uh, da 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 da, something like that. <laughs> um, so queer. <gasps> Why are we plagued with horrible Swedish pop music? Don't we have enough bad pop music in America? We have to import it from Sweden. Good times. I remember that one. Good times. They had this really great beat to their song, and it was the same beat. But nonetheless, it was a great beat. The like rap things in, in the Ace of Bass uh, songs were just tacked on. Like they recorded this whole song and then somebody hit a button and just said, oh, uh, we're recording, do something. I saw the sign, I know the sign and saw the sign. The sign that they saw, it was a sign that said, hurry up and record more music and capitalize on this moment because it's about to end. The last time I heard it, I, actually, I think they put it in rotation at Ikea. I love 94. Woodstock 1994, let that party begin. Woodstock 94 and the original Woodstock, I don't think had too much in common other than that they were called Woodstock. This was like the 60s Woodstock with mosh pits which is how I think Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young always wanted it. Well, it smells like 69. But when you were watching Hendrix at Woodstock, you didn't have to look over your shoulder to see if someone was going to tackle you and then hump you and then run away laughing. It seems like Woodstock 94 got some heavy hitters. Your Aerosmith, your Chili Peppers. Green Day, Primus, Metallic. And did Jackal play at Woodstock 94? Like, Jackal. How did they get on the bill? Uh, Throw mud at each other. Woodstock 94 was famous for the big mud slinging, just monstrous, just like mud slides. I just remember hearing that the mud people was made up of mud and outhouse remnants. It's caca. Poo poo. It's. It's like somebody literally sat around and said, remember Woodstock where everybody just came? It was like a big concert for free and everybody just kind of hung out and it was, it was all about peace and stuff. What if we had set up a Starbucks there? We would have made so much bucks. I think we can all agree that Woodstock 94 wasn't about peace, love, and harmony. More about corporate greed and girls gone wild. Buzzkill. I want to shoot, baby. Shoot. I love salt and pepper. Which one was salt and which one was pepper? Is it pepper or peppa? It's peppa. Salt and pepper, great name, except there were three of them. Or Spinderella. Left out of the title, really. Spinderella was sexy, which, I, you know, I still don't know what her purpose was, but God bless her. Spinderella cut it up one time. They kind of emerged after drinking some Slim Fast and maybe doing a little uh, Tybo. Before, when they, when they like, the dads push it, they had the like big earrings and the, and the colorful jackets on, but then about '94, like they looked more sophisticated, like they like were real women. You're like, damn. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man, mighty mighty good man, what a man. <laughs> Did I say that? What a mighty good man. This mighty good man, this fabulous man, they're singing about. He spends quality time with his kids when he can. Quality time with his kids when he can. 
which is my favorite caveat of all time. You know, Winnie Kim. They looked good, they were ready to party, but they were socially aware. Let's talk about sex. Come on. Let's talk about sex, baby. Now, I personally love talking about sex, so when that song came out, I was like, listen, sisters, you don't have to tell me twice. Push it real good. You can push it all you want. I'm going to turn around. I want you to push it right on to me. However, let's talk about sex. All right. Let's talk about some protection, and let's talk about what this means to our relationship. And then you're going to push it long time, mister. You push it long time. I love 94. Coming up, the most popular and maybe only movie scene dealing exclusively with shellfish. You can barbecue it. Boil it. Shrimp. Broil it. Fry shrimp. Shrimp. Chocolate shrimp. Taco shrimp. Grill shrimp. Gumbo. Shrimp and shrimp. Fry. Long Stir fry. Forrest Gump, next on I Love the 90s, 1994. But first, log on to VH1.com. Get artist info, play fun games, browse photo galleries, purchase CDs and DVDs. And while you're there, cyber geek, tell us how you really feel on our message boards. This summer, VH1 is searching for a new Partridge family and the next sitcom star. So come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. If you think you resemble a Partridge and can act and sing like one, too, go to VH1.com slash Partridge to find out about casting dates, locations, and more. I'm going to show my bathing suit who's boss. My goal? Goodbye, love handles. Hello, love machine. I believe in miracles. A miracle? No. More like an idea whose time has come. With Applebee's and Weight Watchers, together we're making 10 tempting new foods, all with that great Applebee's taste. I'm having my cake. And then some. This summer, rent as many games as you want. Flip it. For as long as you want. Then flip them. Flip it. With the new Blockbuster Flip Card. 49 bucks is all you pay for three months of unlimited gaming. So get some Blockbuster now and flip it. What did you have for lunch? Polish sausage with onions. Your breath shows no evidence. I destroyed the evidence with an Eclipse Mint. Do I need one? No, your breath is irrefutably fresh. It should be. Ah, oh, you crazy kidder. New Eclipse Mints. They're breath defying. Now when you buy three or more medium one-topping pizzas from Domino's, you get them for just $5 each. That means pepperoni guy, mushroom guy, and sausage guy can each get their own pizza for just five bucks. Hey, who invited I'll Pay You Tomorrow guy? Big news from Domino's. It's the 555 deal. Call now and buy three or more medium one-topping pizzas and pay just five dollars each. Get the door. It's the 555 deal from Domino's. Anchorman is the number one comedy in America. Will Ferrell is the go-to guy if you want to laugh yourself silly, says Rolling Stone. I'm kind of a big deal. You will laugh. Then you'll laugh some more. Anchorman, rated PG-13. Now play. Ready or not, here I come. Uh-huh. Orbitz makes it easy to find your Orlando vacation. To find your hotel by location, price, or star rating. Just Orbitz and go. Hey, vacation pictures. But they're digital. We don't have a digital camera. I know. We got digital pictures from that little plastic camera. That's right. You don't need a digital camera to get digital pictures because the Kodak Plus digital one-time use camera system automatically gives you a Kodak picture CD back with your prints. Hey, well, what are you going to do with that one? Send it to your brother. No, I will do anything. Anything? Share the moment, share the mind. Now you can also get digital pictures with new Kodak Plus digital film. Stargate SG-1 unlocked the gate to the galaxy. Move out. A new team just found the key. We are about to try to make a connection. To go beyond. Can I do that? What we're looking for may be further away than we ever imagined, but it's not out of reach. Atlantis. Begin the dialing sequence. Oh, yeah. We're going in. You have to see this. We're underwater. If we don't stop everything we're doing right now, we're dead. I don't think we've gotten to the hard part yet. Stargate Atlantis, a sci-fi channel original series, premieres tonight at 9. I'm David Hastings for Hastings & Hastings, the Discount Accident Lawyers. With over 20 years' experience, we know that if you've been injured, the best time to call us is right after an accident. It doesn't make sense to go it alone against an insurance company. We're on your side, and we'll fight hard to get you every dollar you deserve. 
And when your case settles, our discount fee means more money for you. You can call us for free. Find us on the back cover of the Phoenix Yellow Pages for the office nearest you. Full service and discount fees for accident victims. It's about time. I love the 90s. I love the 90s. Coming up next, only on VH1. It's all that in a bag of chips. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump was like this endearing character that you loved so much. Hey, stupid! Forrest Gump was this great movie about a man and he had an IQ of 75. It gave hope to a person like me with an IQ of 77. Stupid is, stupid does, sir. Tom Hanks won Best Actor. He deserved it. It starts to send a bad message when um, anyone who plays a character who's at all mentally incapacitated is automatically at least nominated, if not um, given an Oscar. He was amazing because you, you, this character, you're like, is he slow? Is he brilliant? I've worn lots of shoes. My favorite moment in Forrest Gump is where he meets Nixon and there's a little bit of sexual tension between the two of them. Well, where are you staying? It's just called the Hotel Airbot. Would you like to come back and have a soda in the back room? Huh? What are you trying to say? When he became a ping pong player, a world class ping pong player. He ran across the country. I mean, you had to be inspired by that movie. He's going the distance. Run, Forrest, run. But I'm not running across America, I tell you that much. Unless you're getting chased, man, you ain't running nowhere. <laughs> but the dude that took the cake was my man, the shrimp dude. What was his name? Hi, hey, Bob. Bubba. Hey, Forrest. Hey, Forrest. <laughs> Bubba was cool, man. Bubba was cool. Bubba, all Bubba knew was shrimp. Shrimp is the food of the sea. You can barbecue it, bar, oh, shrimp, broil, it, bacon, bacon rice, some shrimp, 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 shrimp kebab, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp creole, shrimp, 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 shrimp gumbo, shrimp and shrimp, 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 shrimp fry, deep fried, fry, 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 stir fry. Pineapple shrimp. I think he has some weed shrimp. Didn't he have some weed shrimp? My mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. Mama always said life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> life is like a bunch of chocolates. And I will eat every chocolate in that box. Final thought. 1994 found us entering a period of doubt and confusion. Is figure skating truly a snake pit of violence and deceit? Can you really have that great grilled taste without the fat? Even the year's unofficial slogan spoke of uncertainty. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But amid all this doubt, we could all take comfort in knowing one thing for sure. If you play a mentally challenged person, it's Oscar time, baby, yeah! So always remember, take care of yourself and each other. Yearning for a simpler time? We're jigging.